Welcome everyone to a little episode about breakfast. I have a wonderful niece who watches this show and we were talking the other day and she said, Paul, I love the show and everything, but could you make something that I want to eat? Well, of course, what would you like to eat? Breakfast tacos. Well, you got it, Lucia. This episode is dedicated to you. We're gonna make breakfast tacos. Now there are a ton of different ways to make breakfast tacos and today we're gonna tackle three of them. Of course, I think really anything that is in taco form that you eat for breakfast could be considered a breakfast taco. So let your imagination run wild. These are gonna be three staples and one very special one for Lucia. So the first one that we're going to make is a bacon, egg, and cheese taco. Very classic, Lucia's favorite. We're gonna serve that over corn. The next one we're gonna do is an egg, bean, and cheese. That happens to be my wife's favorite. So we're gonna cover all of our bases. And then the last one, we're going to bust out a little bit of chorizo and make a chorizo egg with a salsa verde. For today's ingredients, we're gonna use eggs, butter, Mexican chorizo, thick cut bacon, a yellow onion, fresh tomatoes, fresh cilantro, a roasted salsa verde. We have corn tortillas and flour tortillas, a cheese blend, some refried black beans, and a salsa starter. The salsa starter we're gonna use with our tomatoes to make a fermented pico de gallo. If you haven't made the salsa starter, you can find that video up here. It's a really fun one to make and it goes great with everything. Okay, so now that we have all of our ingredients out, I'm also gonna use a few spices for the beans, mostly uh, cumin, oregano, garlic, and onion powder. Okay, the first step is to make sure that everything is prepped because once everything is cooked, we wanna assemble quickly and serve right away. Breakfast tacos are best served immediately. So a couple of things that we need to do is make our salsa and kind of get everything organized. Let's do that right now. For this version of our fermented pico de gallo, I'm going to take out the seed and as much liquid as I can from the tomatoes. I want everything to be relatively dry. Uh, I don't wanna make the taco too wet. All right, we made our little fermented pico de gallo with our fermented starter. It looks amazing. I'm gonna leave this to the side with our salsa verde. And now let's hop over to the stovetop where we're gonna actually start cooking our ingredients and get ready to eat some breakfast tacos. Let's go. Well, welcome over to the stove. So our first order of business is actually going to be to warm up these beans. Uh, it's that can of black refried beans. I'm gonna put it on the back burner and just real low and slow. I am gonna take the opportunity to add our spice blend to it. This is oregano, onion powder, garlic powder, and some cumin, all ground. Just add that in there. In the meantime, I'm going to turn on my back burner on this little pan back here. That's where we're gonna warm up our, our tortillas. Few things smell like breakfast as much as bacon, so I want this to be pretty crispy, this bacon. So we're looking just perfect right there. Rendered a lot of that fat out. I wanna save some of the fat that's in this pan. We don't have to make it spotless, but we don't wanna waste all that flavor we've built up too. I'm gonna to add just a touch of butter. And I'm gonna add three eggs. I don't like to scramble them ahead of time. I just like to do it in the pan, just kind of make it more rustic that way. And this is gonna go by real quickly. I'm gonna take about half of these out to serve with the bacon, egg, and cheese. And right about now, we're gonna add the cheese right before it's done. Perfect. So still a little runny, it's gonna carry over cooking. I'm just gonna save these for the bacon, egg, and cheese taco. And for our bean, egg, and cheese, let's just add it all to the pot. Oh yeah. 
Mix it all together, we have those spices in there. And then we'll just take this off. So with the clean pan, we can cook our chorizo. I took it out of the casing and we're gonna add it in and render it down on a medium low heat. Then take a paper towel and clean up some of the grease that's in the pan. But we wanna use some of it. We're making tacos. Realizing I had a heavy hand with this chorizo, so I'm actually going to set some off to the side where we have a chorizo taco with egg. I'm gonna saute a little bit of our diced onion with this. All right, then I'm gonna add two eggs to the party. And again, just kind of scramble them in here. The heat's really low on this. Keep an eye on your tortillas too. Season with a little salt and black pepper. And terrific. These are done, I'm gonna take them off the heat. And now we're going to plate up all of our tacos. We're done cooking, now it's time to plate for my niece's favorite taco, the bacon, egg, and cheese. We're gonna get a little bit of this egg and cheese mixture that we had just set aside. We're gonna lay the foundation. And then, why not? Everyone deserves a big piece of bacon. <laughs> Let's add a little bit more cheese. I know she's not a big fan of spice, so we're gonna leave off the salsas for this one. She also told me that she prefers corn tortillas over flour tortillas, so she got a corn one. Now we're also gonna take this bean egg and cheese taco that we had made, also lay it down, but this one is gonna get a kick, a little bit of that fermented pico de gallo that we had made earlier. I'll do that. And then, as is so classic and, and for so many tacos, a little bit of fresh cilantro and a little bit of diced onion. Taco number two. Taco number three is our chorizo egg and cheese. And I mean, who could argue with that color? It looks amazing. We're gonna use the flour tortillas for these, because why not? We gotta mix it up a little bit. We'll do a little bit of that roasted salsa verde that we had made. Finish it also with some chopped cilantro and some of those diced red onions. Perfect, three breakfast tacos. Here you go, everybody. I'm just so happy the way that these came out. Just three simple examples of different types of breakfast tacos you can make. Let your imagination run wild with this one though. Honestly, anything that's a taco you eat for breakfast is a breakfast taco in my book. So Lucia, I hope that this made you proud. I hope you really enjoyed it. And thank you for the suggestion. If you guys have a suggestion of something that you would like to see made, maybe something that you like to eat, leave it in the comments down below. I look forward to seeing your suggestions. And from my kitchen to yours, happy cooking everybody. Until next time. I'm going with the bacon, egg and cheese.